Well, good morning, everyone. It's a few, it's a couple, 60 seconds before five o'clock. And I just want to get this sharing before uh, um, five o'clock so I don't interrupt our time. Uh, so, what an awesome, awesome morning. It was funny. The other day, I, I was, someone told me they couldn't hear me on Facebook. I asked them if they uh, turn up the volume of their um, their uh, speaker. Good morning, Allison. Sorry, my alarm's going off. So, I hope you can hear me. But uh, it's... It's good morning. I, we had a great discussion on Colossians 1 last night. Just talking about uh, uh, interesting stuff. Last night, yesterday, we had a great time in jail church. I hope you had a great uh, day yesterday. Today, we're dealing with 1 Chronicles 29, verse 13. It's a great, great time to end this week's of devotions. And uh, tomorrow's my day off. So here's this week's First Chronicles 29, 13. It says, Now our God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. So we know that next week is Thanksgiving, but here's the deal. I read an article was it yesterday or Tuesday about that every day should be like Thanksgiving. We should literally give Thanksgiving, we should give thanks every day. We should find something to thanks, thank God for. And if we can't, then there's something wrong. There's something amiss whether we thank God that we didn't stub our toe today or we didn't thank God, uh, we couldn't thank God for even getting us up out of bed. You know, just simple stuff. Um, I just think that we can find the ability to give thanks for something, if not a majority of, of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And... I just finding that ability giving thanks and then it ends with praise giving praise also give thanks and praise and putting those together it actually comes from the attitude of the heart and uh, last night we got it on topic of you know give thanks in all things give thanks you know uh, your trials and tribulations and whatever give thanks and, and I was talking about I was sharing how I thought when I first read those verses like that you know uh, be joyful in your suffering and when I read read that scripture I was thinking when I read that the first couple times and still sometimes that day I'm like Lord that's kind of a weird way to say be joyful in your suffering but then I realized that we can be joyful in our heart. We don't always have to show it on our face. Because everyone says, oh, you got to smile all the time. Well, you can be joyful and have hope in your heart. You don't always have to show it on your face. But that faith in your heart and that joy that passes all understanding, that peace that, well, that peace that passes all understanding can be within your heart. And, and just like praise can come out of the wellness of your heart, of, of your soul, um, throughout that certain uh, actually praise becomes a warfare that the enemy cannot come against and you can praise through any circumstance any issue any anything that one's going through the good times the bad times whatever and and, and really get through that because um, praise can actually cause distractions to go away and, and 
I think it's so key that we remember. And it says at the beginning is, we give you thanks. Man, just waking up, you know, um, uh, sometimes we open our prayer time as we start going right into our, I call it the Christmas lifts, list in our prayer time, right? We go right into, God, I need this, 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 this. Just kind of like a Christmas list. Instead of we should open up with giving thanks to God in those times, in that, that, that moment. So we have the opportunity to praise the Lord and to honor Him in, um, in the beginning. And then, you know, that that moment of, of this is God can you meet those needs begin with thanksgiving and say God I thank you I praise you I honor you I worship you I, I give you all praise and then get to those needs start out with praise start out with worship start out with that moment that your whole main focus is not coming with needs come with the attitude I'm going to praise you first and then walk into uh, you know your needs you know that's something that um, that is a difficult practice to turn it you know go into but you know it's it's just a thought this morning as I was reading this morning it says now our God we give you thanks. It's almost like, hey, I just had a thought. Maybe we should give you thanks. And and, and praise your glorious name. It's almost like, now we're going to do that. Now that you got us through this, now we're going to show up and do this for you. Uh, actually, we should have been doing that all the time. It's, it's this amazing thought. So, anyways, on this day, the, the 15th, which for our family which it means 15 days till Abby gets back in the States, which we're counting down now. So it's one month. So I'm pretty excited about that. So here's the verse. Get out, get out your notebook, write out this verse, First Chronicles 29, 13. It says, Now our God, we give you thanks. And praise your glorious name. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. Well, a couple prayer requests. Um, we need to pray for the unspoken that we have. And, and if you have a prayer request, go ahead. If it's public, go ahead and put it in the comment area underneath. If it's private, go ahead and message me. If you're watching this on YouTube or the website, go ahead and email me at b1agks at gmail.com and I'll be glad to add those to our prayer, prayer request list. Um, literally just just believing God to meet every need. So and then we I just like to close and pray pray for those unspokens and and uh, I'll pray for Abby as well and her team over, over there in Panama. And so uh, just believe in God for great things. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much for this morning. I pray that you bless every person that watches now and watch later. I pray that you give them an awesome day. I pray that, Lord, that we have the opportunity to be a blessing to somebody today. I pray for those two unspoken, Lord God. Do you know exactly what they are? Lord, they're both individuals that need healing. Lord, I pray that you just touch them, Lord God, that you just minister by your Holy Spirit. Lord, I also pray for Abby. Lord, I pray that, Lord, that you continue to protect her and help her to do great exploits for you, Lord. I pray that you just touch her, Lord. I pray that you uh, use her team, Lord God, in Panama, Lord God, to, to reach out to those that are there, Lord. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you call her there. I pray that you continue to protect her, Lord God. I pray for today, and I pray for Sunday, Lord God, Sunday services, Lord God, that, Lord, that you just... Uh, moved by your power and by your Holy Spirit. Lord God, may we learn new things from your word. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity. Lord, we honor you and we praise you Lord, in your name. Amen. Have a blessed day, guys. Love you. Hope to see you Sunday. Service, 1030, corner of 9th and Yuba here in Burlington, Kansas. If I don't see you on Sunday, I'll see you next Monday. God bless you. Love you guys.